Now, back care exercise video. First yeah. exercise, your basic lower back extension. Simple enough, facing down, flat on the mat. Arms out straight, legs out straight. You'll raise the, raise the right arm with the left leg. Alternating from side to side. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. The only other thing you need to remember here is to keep the abdominals pulled in tight. Yeah. Helps isolate the lower back. Now, progression on from this exercise, just to change the arm position or change the levers, we're going to take the hands to the side of the head, elbows out wide, going to add a little bit more resistance on the lower back this way. Again, you must keep the abdominals pulled in tight, this helps isolate the lower back muscles a lot better. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down, nice and controlled. Now, plenty of progressions on from this, simply changing the arm position. Again, the lever length changes, it's longer now adding more resistance on the lower back. So we're in the crucifix position. Now it's not a simple case of just raising the arms. You still got to raise the upper torso with it as well. So head, chest, shoulders and arms raising up towards the roof. Breathe out. On the way down, breathe in. And again, just try and keep those abdominal muscles pulled in tight. Keeps the exercise and the lower back isolate a lot better. Now, next exercise. Straightforward enough, this is a core balance exercise, so it will help strengthen yeah. the lower back, but it's going to work completely yeah. on the core. You can see I have the bar here that's helping us out, straight along the spine. You can see a point of contact at the back of the bum, or the around the coccyx lumbar curve. Point of contact in the thoracic spine, the cervical curve, point of contact on the back of the skull. Activate the core, pull the belly button in tight, raise the right arm and the left knee a fraction above the ground, and just hold to fatigue your balance. Once you've done one side, switch over and do the same on the opposite side. A progression on from here is again just to extend the lever length. So this time, we'll take the arm out to 10 o'clock, opposite leg straight out behind. You can see on the bar there, you can still see the lumbar curve, the abs are pulled in tight. And again, it's a core balance, so you hold for as long as you can. Change over to the opposite side as well. So there basically should be no change to the torso and the core position. You've got the neutral curve, pull the abs in tight, keep the whole core activated. And try and use the core to take most of the body's weight in this exercise. Help strengthen the core and ease any stress and tension off the opposite arm and leg. Next exercise, bridge on the Swiss ball or core lifts, whatever you want to call it. Most important aspect here is you must begin the exercise with the core activated. So you'll have the lumbar curve underneath the lower back where you can slide the hand in. The abdominals are pulled in tight and it's through the core that you raise. You apply pressure through your heels, lift up through the core. Once you get to the highest point, pause, squeeze the glute muscles as tight as you can, then lower down and arrive back in the ground with the core intact. No change to the lumbar curve, no change to the abdominals pulled in tight. The whole core is activated throughout. Next exercise. And this is specifically for the lower back itself, lower back extensions. Except this time, you're going to get on top of the ball. You'll see I'm going to bend the elbows to stabilize the ball at the front. Both legs are straight, and you'll alternate one at a time doing reverse leg raise. Breathe out on the way up, in and the way down. Alternating from side to side. Again, it's key here to keep the abdominals pulled in tight. You can see the lumbar curve's fine, so nothing yeah, to worry about the there. End we're bending slightly. Controlled movement. Alternating side to side. Keep the leg nice and straight. Uh, progression on from this exercise quite simply is doing both legs at the same time so you'll set yourself up in the same position bend those elbows stabilize the ball from the front knees together ankles together feet together and this time double reverse leg raise try and keep the abdominals pulled in breathe out in the way up breathe in in the way down smooth controlled movements no change or no change of position with the upper body torso allow the lower back to do all the work next exercise adapted side plank so adapted being the knees bent and the gap of 90 degrees between the hamstring and the calf the rest of the body through the knee the hip and the shoulders one straight line you have the neutral curve at the back pull the abdominals in tight activate the whole core you just lift up through the core or raise it up as high as you can. Remember, keep the abdominals pulled in. Obviously, you'll do both sides. Progression on is the full side plank. This time, it's all the way out into straight legs. So you're adding a little bit more resistance to the core area. But again, allow the core to do all the work. So raise up through the core, breathe out. Lower down, breathe in. Keep the neutral curve. Keep the abdominals pulled in tight. Keep the pelvic floor activated. 
Next exercise, plank. I'm using the bar here again to emphasize the positioning of the spine. You can see the lumbar curve and the cervical curve. Yep. Abdominals are pulled in tight. Take it to the knees yep. first. Once you're ready to transfer the weight from the knees into the ball of the feet, core should not move. Exchange the weight. Full plank. Abs in tight. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. No movement on the core. When you're tired, you need to take a rest. Bend the knees down. No change to the core. Then relax down. Progression on from this is quite simple enough. You'll set your body up again, take it up onto the knees. Neutral curve, abdominals in tight, elbows underneath the shoulders, head in line with the spine, raise the straight leg, distribute the weight off the knees onto the toes, and simply raise right leg up. No change to the core, relax, switch opposite side, left leg up, no change to the core and down. Back to the knees, no change to the core, and relax it all down. Okay. Next exercise, back extensions in the Swiss ball. Side on profile here, you can't actually see it, but the feet are flat against the wall, thighs against the ball, the bum and the hips are the highest point. You're going to raise all the way up, breathing out, hands up to the side of the head, elbows out wide, Breathe out in the way up, in and the way down. And again, by keeping the abdominals pulled in tight, you'll isolate the lower back a lot better. Now this particular exercise is for the upper back. Now all you need to do is make rest the forehead on the palms of the hand. Elbows are out wide. And what you want to do is you raise the elbows up and you raise up through the elbows, looking for a contraction in the upper back. Bring the arms up with it. You're not actually lifting the head. The head's only raising up because the arms are raising up. So you want to lift the elbows, Contract the upper back, the elbows, raise the elbows and the arms up towards the roof. The head will come up with it in line with everything else. Upper back contraction, hold to fatigue. Nice exercise. Now, another lower back exercise. It's an adaptation of the Superman. Instead of having the arms all the way out to the front, I've turned my palms to face the roof. I'm raising the arms up towards the roof, getting an upper back contraction. You see the legs are together and raising up as well, getting a lower back contraction. So a full strength training exercise for the whole spine. Hello.